Tasmania's giant kelp forests used to grow along much of the state's east coast, but most of them have been wiped out due to climate change. Scientists have been working to replenish the forests using selective breeding to make them more resistant to warmer water. And as Monty Boval reports, the results so far are promising. A hidden underwater weld being brought back from the brink. To be diving in 30 metres of water with the kelp going from the, you know, right to the surface was absolutely magnificent. So to see all of that just disappear was absolutely astonishing. Giant kelp is the largest marine algae in the world. It grows up to 40 metres tall. 95% of giant kelp forests in Tasmania have disappeared. The decline has been accelerated by the extension of the East Australian current. So it's a warm, nutrient-poor current that flows down from mainland Australia. You might know it from Finding Nemo. Yeah. The turtles surf on it. You're riding it, dude! Check it out! And it's getting stronger with climate change and bringing that warm, nutrient-poor EAC water to Tassie. But there's new hope for the underwater habitat. A year ago, scientists collected spores from the reproductive leaves of some of the last remaining kelp and placed them on the ocean floor. They've taken off, with some reaching 12 metres. It's really encouraging every time we're able to come out here and check up on them and measure them and see how they're going, to jump in and now see this little patch which starts to look a little bit like a giant kelp forest, a little bit like they used to look in areas. So, yeah, it's been very exciting so far for us. The project has a dual benefit. The selective breeding will also help the commercial production of the kelp. It's a great outcome for marine environment, it's a great outcome for the economy, um, and the potential for that industry is, is really a very significant potential. The next challenge for the kelp here is to survive the summer and the warmer water that comes with it. If it does, it's hoped these forests will kickstart a natural cycle that will make them not only self-sustaining, but self-expanding. Monty Boval, ABC News, Fortescue Bay.